Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is episode 9 of the Dream Team series. We started off this episode by sending all of those bronze players to the trade pile as I no longer need them for this team. Because I've won the bronze cup that means I can now use silver players. My objective is to now win that silver cup and that way I will unlock gold players. Uh, but to do that, I was, uh, to send all of those bronze players to my trade pile all at once, I needed to increase my trade pile size. Uh, that's what I did. And I also noticed that I could buy some uh, coin boosts. So if you wanted to or you didn't know how to do that, you have to go to the main menus, go to EA, EAFC, I believe, or SC or something like that. And it will go into the catalog. And then you have to select Ultimate Team. And then that way you can uh, see any boosts that you can basically get in Ultimate Team. And then we also went to upgrade my team to a silver, and then I realised it cost 15,000 coins for that pack, and I didn't realise, I thought it was like 5, maybe 7,500 coins, but it was 15,000 coins, I didn't have that at the time, so I had to buy all of my team with the points, Dream Team points that I had on the bottom right corner. So I had 13 points, silver players now cost minus 2 points instead of 1 point, so... Um, Basically, I can buy six players with one point left over. Um, instead of spending that point on a bronze player, I decided just to keep that one point at the end and then go into another game, generate one more point, and then I can buy another silver player. So the players that I bought were two cams, a CDM, a goalkeeper, a centre back, and a centre forward. So there's six players in all. Here's a centre forward, which I originally planned on using as a striker as well. I was comparing these two because one was six foot two in height and one was five foot five. So obviously the person with, uh, even though he had 79 pace and the other one had 80, it'd probably feel a lot stronger on the ball. So that's what I was doing when I was comparing them. He only has three star skill though. My two cams have four star skill. My CDM is just pretty quick. He has about 80 pace. And the centre back there from Inter Milan, um, he's very, very consistent. His name's one, I think, J-U-A-N. And he's, uh, he's very consistent. I also plan on getting a very other a very fast centre back uh, non rare as well, which you'll see in the upcoming episodes. Um, but then I realised I had no points left over to actually spend um, on players for my team. So I need to send all of those players that I just sent to the trade pile, send them back into my team just to fill out the rest of my team so that I, I can actually play online. So the the players I decided to keep were obviously Reeves and Forster Kasky. They were the main players I wanted to keep. Uh, also Bennett there as a centre back. He was very consistent for me, so I decided to keep him as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, uh, we decided to go into our first online game, our first game with the silver team, which you'll see in just a second as I'm still putting these players into my into my team. So I'm pretty much just filling out the bench as much as possible. Uh, I decided to put Force the Kasky there, the centre mid, into the CDM position. So the chemistry for this team isn't very good at the moment. Well, the, the Brazilians aren't finding it too bad. It's just the uh, English bronze players that are struggling. Um, we also went to buy a manager. Uh, who was a Mexican? He was in 4231 and he wasn't shiny, so I'm still not, I'm still following my series rules. Uh, he only cost me 150 coins, so um, for the sake of just getting me five extra chemistry, it's definitely worth it. Um, and that's all you get. As a silver manager, you get five chemistry. For a gold manager, you get plus 10 chemistry. And then you also get plus one for every nationality links with that manager. So if you have a, if I had a uh, Brazil manager, I would have got plus 11, if that makes sense. But I couldn't find any. Uh, Brazil silver managers, uh, especially non-rare ones anyway. So we went into this game up against that team there and he had a lot of pace. He had a very good silver team in fact uh, with the likes of Ryu, Ryu Miyachi, um, El Arabi up front who's actually uh, a very very good dribbler, one of the best silver dribblers in the game. And um, yeah so this that clip there was just to show you how static my defence was. Um, it was because it was my first, t t uh, first game with this team I found it very hard just to do the basics. So it's almost stepping back now, I'm stepping back to step one. And um, it's very hard to do the basics, just like passing around, defending well, and just all those basic things I find very hard. I did get through with one chance with Cristiano there, uh, the four-star skiller, left-footed guy. And then he goes on the counter-attack here, and pretty much undefendable. Um, his pace against mine was unmatched. I couldn't get in front of him once he had the ball, and uh, he just finished it up 1-0. But the goalkeeper, he's pretty good. It's, I definitely noticed a difference with this silver goalkeeper uh, compared to my old bronze one which let in so many stupid goals but this one is one of those stupid goals but it was just a typical FIFA 13 goal that you could do nothing about doesn't matter what goalkeeper I had there I don't think I would have been able to stop that attack um, but then he gets through with another chance hitting the post there uh, again going into the 67th minute he plays through Danny Pachado I'm not exactly sure who he is but he puts it into the post again. So to be honest with you, this game he could have had a lot more goals. He was all over me. I was hardly getting any chances at all. Uh, still getting used to the formation and the players. Um, 
But moving into the 72nd minute, I do get a chance here for Sakaski, and that was pretty much my only chance up to then that was actually worth showing. He then crosses the ball over, almost like sweats the goal in. I don't even see why I needed to do that, to be honest, but I'm not going to complain about it. I do it sometimes, um, but the thing is I don't do it when I'm winning by a long mile. Cristiano though on the 90th minute gets a little consolation goal making sure that he doesn't get a clean sheet so that pretty much just wraps up the game he win he wins that game 3-1 I still get my one point um, so that means I can now buy a silver player uh, next episode so that is the end of this episode I hope you enjoyed it if you can remember to leave the like that would be fantastic also subscribe if you're not already subscribed and until next time guys I will see you later so I opened up the first pack and it was literally the first pack and I got an inform and I was like oh my god I actually got an inform and uh, but it was uh, Bracali and I ended up just quick selling him because he wouldn't even sell for 10k in his